All right, everyone, welcome back. Today is what, Tuesday's episode? I now have to go ahead and take some of this wonderful merchandise out of here. So like the speaker I wanted to check out. Um, and I want to take out this cord. I bet the battery might even work, so maybe I should take that out. You know what, maybe that's what I'll, is this, there's no way this thing's, oh, that's, I thought it was on there. Definitely take out the cord, but welcome back, it's another day. I'm now taking out the merchandise, because I have to take out this, because I'm going to rip it apart really quickly. Also, I take out all these textbooks. I did have a couple comments on these textbooks. The reason why I grabbed them is because, yes, they are very expensive. The only problem is, is after you get a couple years into uh, Inti's textbooks, new editions come out. Um, so, I don't know what edition this is. 13. That's pretty high up there. 13 editions of one book. How much could they really change over 13 editions? And the big trick there is sometimes some of these schools and these teachers get a cutback or a kit back, I say kick back. Um, so by selling new editions, you have to buy like the newer book. Um, when really nothing really changed, maybe a couple pages, a couple pictures, whatever it is. But the trick with them is you have to check every single book because if they're an edition that people still use, like I said in the other video, uh, brand new, 200 used, 100 Even after a couple years, you might be able to get $50, $60 for a used book. So I got to go through every book in here. And the boots. And the skateboard. And probably this tank. Everything's pretty much coming out. And now it's not going back into the garbage. It's going somewhere else. Um, so welcome back, and we'll make this a fun day. For those wondering what this was, this is whatever it was. They are very rusted, so I don't know if they're used or not. This looks fairly new, but the bomb looks pretty rusted. So I got this one plate off. Um, the next step is to check whatever here is not magnetic. So we do have some copper right here. Uh, these are steel. This sealed unit, however, so this usually I take off. I might end up just leaving it on there and saving it or just keeping it on there because you really don't get that much more money. Uh, usually I would take it off. It's very easy, but these look like they have some really interesting clips on them that I have no idea how to get off. I might be able to just sawzall right below it, so we'll see if that works. But other than that, if that doesn't work, I'll just have to leave those on. Uh, I think you get 10 cents a pound or 12 cents a pound for the sealed unit as opposed to 8 cents for, you know, just the cast iron or the, the steel itself. Let's see how hard these brass fixtures are to take off. We'll work on those. Um, but yeah, the trick here is to make sure you have the right tools. In fact, the screw that went on this is actually that star-shaped. So I had to go back in my bag of tricks and get the uh, star shape uh, bit, which probably has a name. But rip off these, and uh, we should be good to go here. I guess I should probably clip that off. That'll probably be a pain in the butt. Um, and now I gotta work on the other side. Remove those. I don't take out this little fan. Uh, this thing weighs like nothing. So I usually just keep that in there. It's more of just a headache. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult than you think. Uh, Cause you have to then cut off the actual fan blade. Can't just take off the motor.
I guess I really don't need to take off the right side, just the left screws. Last one shot. Still got it. Put that there. It should pop off. There you go. Get the scissors out. Clip this. So sometimes these uh, wiring that's in here is aluminum. Didn't know that until I started scrapping that aluminum wiring is more popular than you think. Um, and sometimes it's copper. This is actually copper. That's also copper. I don't know how I did that. All right, we'll put that on top of here so then when I put my bucket of insulated wire in, also go ahead and clip off all this because this is all copper wire. Now that's decent stuff. There's probably well I take off that. That's garbage. It's probably close to about one dollar in wire right here. So just a couple clips and you get yourself a nice coffee for the morning, you know? Alright, just like that, I was able to get all this stuff off. Uh, I did get the sealed unit off as well. These were actually just little clips. They have to bend back. I just used my scissors here, my pruning scissors. But I'm not going to take this in today. Um, I just had this and then that one radiator that was right here, which was actually copper and aluminum. Uh, sometimes they might be all aluminum, but that was copper and aluminum. So we'll save this for another time, but we'll take this bad boy in since she takes up a lot of real estate. Aluminum doors. Wish I would have grabbed that other stuff that I had. Because that would have been my aluminum. There's probably, I'd say, right there, maybe $4 worth. That's plastic. We're in sunglasses, so I can't really like see things when it's kind of like dark or in shade. That's covered by the trash can, so I couldn't really like. No, no. Anyway. Yeah, that's probably like $4 in aluminum. That would go as just clean aluminum. Alright, I'll we'll drive by the house over here on the left. It's a very interesting looking house. I have a decent amount of garbage out. Let's see what we got though. The bed was there. They have a suitcase. Oh, they got some old stuff. I'm going to swing around check out those old suitcases. Old, old suitcases are, are very hit or miss. Um, that I can't really figure out in terms of hit or miss, like if anyone even wants them. It's almost like another one of those tread, trend things. Kind of like galvanizes. Should have just waited around yesterday and been like, hey man, are you throwing anything more out? Hey man, you throwing any more out? took off my sunglasses so I can see. Oh, that's someone's garbage. That might even be the loop that bit. That's junk. See, I was looking at the suitcase. This one looks really nice. Look at that. That might sell. That one, I don't think so. This one might. It's kind of beat up, but look at the distressment on that. It's like a leather. I don't think I've ever seen a hard shell leather case. That's a beauty. 
I don't need kids' toys. So that's. Why do I feel like there's something else that was out here yesterday? And I can't remember what it was. This stuff's frozen. Oh, those are all like uh, dog toys for a small dog. Let's see what's in this bin. Burlap bags. They're just pieces of burlap. If there were bags, I would grab them. No, they're just like fabric. Someone's probably saying you should grab them. I don't even really sell the bags themselves, even with the advertisement on it. I don't understand why they don't sell, but they don't. This bag. High Sierra. It's torn. It's like all torn over here. Taco to Traveler might be traveling this year, so I'm trying to think, do I really, I mean, it's in rough shape, but bag's a bag, right? You know what, I might actually use that, so I'm gonna screw it right. Just grab it out here lollygagging over something you may or may not use, or else I'm gonna go out four months five months and spend $150 on the bag. Doesn't make sense, you know? Why'd I say I was leaving this other one? Oh, this one's just like nothing. Oh, the handle on it's ripped off anyway. Food. Canned food. All right, onward. It was kind of uneventful, but kind of eventful. Can't see anything, ah, it's because I'm looking right in the sun. That, that's scrap. That's scrap. All right. All right, so I got a whopping $27. Uh, if I wanted, I didn't bring in the aluminum pieces I just picked up in the trash. Uh, that's probably another four dollars plus the aluminum copper radiator and the seal unit so it's probably like 40 45 dollars in scrap uh we are at the post office in fact uh thank you to everyone who's been picking up taco stack merchandise and also <laughs> drop off a package and get a package so thank you to everyone who's been uh, who's been uh sending me mail greatly appreciate that if anyone wants to send mail p.o box information is down below I'll probably do another mail time here shortly because I know the package is already piling up. Um, but yeah, twenty-seven dollars at scrapyard. Got myself a package. I now have to unfortunately go to the gas station. In case you're wondering, the gas price here in Soccer Town is three dollars and seventy-five cents for regular. That's what it's at. We are finally closing in on this lovely pile of merchandise. Our board needs to be recycled. Currently having back spasms, so I'm trying not to move. Ow. If anyone's ever had back spasms, they do not, ow. They do not feel good. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> so yes, I need to find a box out of all this stuff. I should probably find a box that I can donate because like all these picture frames, I'll probably just end up donating these. You know, just lay them down here. That one storage unit did have a ton of this coach stuff. And I'm not up to date with my fast fashions or whatever out of all the premium brands. Coach, Louis, Gucci, all that. I'm not really up to date with what's in style and what's not. Uh. It's a lid of some sort. Yeah, all right, well, I get donated. 
did kind of want to see what's inside these clothes, or at least maybe what's in this bag. It's heavy, whatever's in here. Holy smokes. It's not great trying to pick this up with the back spasms. So, out of all this stuff, um, I definitely made my money back. Obviously, we found $80 in the storage unit. In conclusion, I've not found anything else um, in terms of money. Found quite the abundance of pills. But in terms of money, I've not found any money in here. Mailing envelopes. So just paperwork. Domestic violence court, all right. Yeah, there was a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, what would you should say? A lot of court documents, a lot of different jail things and summons. There was a lot going on in this storage unit. A lot going on. And with all this paperwork, yeah, this is juvenile court. With all this paperwork, I just throw it in a recycling bin, and then it gets recycled into uh, hopefully new paper. Because I'm not going to use it. If it's ever like tax documents and you can ever like find it while you're doing the storage unit clean out, that is usually best. Um, for that reason, you just give it back to the, uh, the facility. And they generally will take it and then give it back to the previous owner. Most facilities will do that. I mean, granted, someone owes you $1,200 on your storage unit that you've been renting them for how many months. Could be renting to someone who would be paying and this person isn't. How likely are you going to be nice and be like, hey, here's your stuff back? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't own a storage facility. But for the most part, like these big uh, corporations, the people who work there really, you know, they don't really care. They get paid hourly. They don't care what goes on with the company. But a lot of these mom and pop ones, they're just like, nah, you don't pay. Screw you. It's just how it is, unfortunately. The whole, uh, the whole storage unit thing is really weird to me. It, you know, it really is. Because in reality, it seems like no one ever wins. Unless you buy it and get a really good deal, or the storage unit goes for way more than what was owed on the unit, which... I've only seen it happen maybe five or so times out of a thousand units. All right, this is kind of the only interesting, I, only thing I found. Not very, very, not very familiar with jewelry at all. Thought it was kind of interesting. I don't know if that has paperwork with it. Probably not. No, it does not. It does say. I don't know if this is the real. Or the original box, I should say. It does say R R L M Studio. R L M. So that might be something to look up. There's no price tag or anything. That was in one of the garbage bags. I also found. Although this one isn't probably isn't worth a whole lot. Wilson's leather Maxima. It's a fairly nice jacket. It is made in a country very, very far away. It's a fairly nice jacket. So I'll put that on my flea market pile. I do have a couple bags of clothes here. They're kind of dirty. They're good for like, uh, I think a lot of these clothes go to rag houses. And some of them do like mass cleaning. So I guess they can probably clean them. Uh, anything that's really disgusting, like dirty or torn, I just throw out. But anything that can possibly be worn after, you know, one or two washings or made to new rags, I kind of donate them. But I'll throw this on my flea market pile. That's probably the only thing out of like two bins so far I've gone through. It's probably the only thing uh, that I found that's kind of noteworthy. I still have furniture from that first storage unit. It's amazing. I look back on it. So I bought um, two 5x10s and one 10 by 10 and I'm still going through stuff like two months later. Like I'm still going through stuff. Like I've thrown away things. I've put things in storage like for the flea market. I put things on eBay. 
but I'm still going through things. I can't imagine if I ever bought like a 10 by 20 packed unit, I would just have to rent it out and just go through it there. There would just be like no way I can just keep transporting it back and forth. There's just so much inventory with like the amount of units that I even bought. So all those people who do like these crazy amount of storage units and not like the YouTubers, I'm talking about like the real people who do it like legit and they're buying 10 by 20s, 10 by 30s. It's a uh, it's insane how much work goes into it. It really is. I mean, I'm overwhelmed with just like three units. And although they were kind of packed, I'm still overwhelmed with three units. So, yeah. Not everything gets thrown in a landfill, at least not with me. But I'm going to sign off here. It's getting kind of chilly in here. There's no heat. Cold day. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to get to tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I think we're doing trash pick in the morning. So, yeah, I should probably pack some of this clothing up so I can drop it off in some bins and maybe some of these recyclables because I got a couple boxes here big boxes of recyclables but that's going to wrap it up here hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another treasure hunt of a day weekly check in video if you guys enjoyed smack the like button subscribe down below we'll be playing more treasure hunts more trash picking and more storage units in the future so we're not stopping we're not quitting we're keeping on taco stacks here signing off Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.